My Shylock, which I believe is the first significant female Shylock, is based on my great-grandmother Annie. She was an immigrant. She came over here from the Pale of Settlement. Uh, all the Jews were forced to live in the Pale of Settlements because they weren't allowed to live in Russia anywhere else. Terrible anti-Semitism and pogroms were taking place and so they sent her over here when she was 15 on a boat on a third-class passage to come and work at Auntie Yetta's factory. Um, it's a very difficult play, The Merchant of Venice. Um, there's no surprises that it was Hitler's favourite play. It was written by Shakespeare 200 years after every Jew had been expelled from England. And the idea of Jew baiting and Jew punishment was very much alive and kicking at the time that this play was written. I wanted to take it and I wanted to see what happened if you turned Shylock into a single mother based on the women that I grew up with, these strong matriarchs, to see what that relationship of having an only daughter who you have this very intense relationship with you want to give her an education and better her life but you don't want her to leave home and forget who she is and I also wondered what would happen if you took Shylock made her a woman and you pitted her against the aristocracy of Great Britain in the 1930s and I think the play really works because you see a woman ultimately who's an immigrant to this country and when you pit that woman against state and church and see what happens to her at the end of the play I think it shows the play up for both its genius but its awfulness. That's what I wanted to do.